Now let's take up the next type of question that is square root. Square root of a irrational of an irrational number. All right. Now in this there is nothing technical about it. It's a simple fixed process that we have to follow. Okay. And how do we go about it? Before that, I'll just uh, uh, recall the formula that is a plus b whole square. We know it is a square plus b square plus 2ab. Right? Similarly, a minus b whole square, we know it is equal to a square plus b square minus 2ab. Now, in place of a and b, if I take root a plus root b, what will happen? If you square it, you will get root a square is a, root b square is b plus to root a b right similarly if i have root a minus root b whole square what will happen we will get a plus b minus 2 root a b right we'll use this thing okay how do we use this thing i'll just show it to you let's take up a question i think that will be useful let's say if the question says find square root of 31 plus 12 root 3 that means we have to find what we have to do is we have to find square root of 31 plus 12 root 3 how do we start here let's assume that root of 31 plus 12 root 3 is equal to root a plus root b why please understand this 31 plus 12 root 3 this is an irrational number because of presence of root 3 Right, so even the square root of this whole number will will definitely be an irrational number. Now, which part will be rational or which part will be irrational? Let's not get into that discussion. Let's assume that both are irrational. Root a plus root b. Right. Now, what you should do now square on both sides. So first, you assume that given uh, this thing is equal to root a plus root b, and also remember that if there is a plus sign here, take plus root a plus root b. If it was minus sign, it, if it was 31 minus 12 root 3, you should have taken root a minus root b. Here it is plus, so we have taken root a plus root b. Now square on both sides. What will happen? If you square on both sides, let me write it properly. Every statement, it will be root of 31 plus 12 root 3 whole square is equal to root of a plus root of b whole square. Now on the left hand side, we will have, the square root will go away, so it is just 31 plus 12 root 3. And on the, on the right hand side, we will have a plus b plus 2 root ab. Now this is a very important uh, uh, step now. See, a plus b is a, is a rational number. 2 root ab is an irrational number on the right hand side. Similarly, on the left hand side, 31 is a rational number. 12 root 3 is an irrational number. So, the numbers of the same species should be equated. So, what do we get from here? We get a plus b equal to 31. That is one equation. And 2 root ab is equal to 12 root 3. Okay. Now, if you simply, if you divide by 2, 2 cancels 12 6 times. So, we have root ab is equal to 6 root 3. Okay. Now, again square. If you square again, what will happen? You will get ab equal to 6 root 3 square. Now, 6 root 3 square will be 36 into 3, that is 108. So, what we have now is a plus b equal to 31, right? And a into b is equal to 108. Now, there are many ways of solving this, these two equations and finding the values of a and b. I would suggest that what you should do is just break this 108 into two parts. How can you do that? Let's see. 1 into 108, right? 2 into 54. So, if you remember the basic tables, you can do it very fast. You know, 3 into 36, 4 into 27, 5 will not be a factor, 6 into uh, 18, 7 will not be a factor, 8 will not be a factor, 9 into 12. I think this is the last pair, right? Because after this, it will be 12 into 9. So, no need to repeat, okay? Now, what you should do is we have always already broken a 108 into two parts, a product of two numbers, and we get possible values of a and b. The condition is the a plus b should be 31. So let's do one thing. Add here. So 1 plus 108 is 109. Here we have 31, so it is wrong. This is not the correct possibility. 2 plus 54, it will be 56. Again wrong because we want 31. So basically find that, that possibility where after addition you get 31. 
So from there you can see that 3 plus 36 is 39. That is wrong. 4 plus 27 is 31. Right. This is the correct possibility. Right. So we have 108 equal to 4 into 27 as the correct possibility. Now the question comes, which one is A, which one is B? One thing is very clear. Always, by default, always take like this that A is greater than B. Always, so that there is no confusion at all. So we'll take A equal to 27 and B equal to 4. Right? So remember the question. What was the question? Question was square root of 31 plus 12 root 3. Right? And this we had assumed to be root A plus root B. So our answer will be root A plus root B. Now root A will be root of 27 plus root B will be root of 4. Now root of 27, 27 is the 9 into 3. Right? Root of 27 can be taken as root of 9 into 3. So it becomes root 9 is 3, root 3 will remain as it is. So it is 3 root 3 plus 2. So the answer of this question is 3 root 3 plus 2. Alright, so this was a really good question. Let's take one more. Let's say the second question, if I say find square root of 69 minus 28 root 5. Right, please pay attention. Let's assume that square root of 69 minus 28 root 5 is equal to root A plus root B. No, you cannot take plus. See, here it is minus sign. So, in this case, instead of plus, you should take minus. So, let me change it, right? Let's take it as root A minus root B, right? Now, square on both sides. When you square, you will get uh, uh, root of 69 minus 28 root 5 whole square equal to root a minus root b whole square. Okay, so this will give us a plus b minus 2 root ab. And this side we have 69 minus 28 root 5 equal to a plus b minus 2 root ab. From there you can see that 69 is going to be equal to a plus b, minus will remain as it is and 28 root 5 will be equal to 2 root ab. Right, so I will write a plus b equal to 69. Okay, and uh, 2 root AB is equal to 28 root 5. Now 2 cancels 28 14 times. So root AB is equal to 14 root 5. Now from here if you square you will get AB equal to square of 14 root 5. Alright. Now that is equal to AB equal to 14 square is 196. Root 5 square is 5. Okay. So it is AB equal to 196 into 5 is 980. Okay. So we have two equations again. A plus B is 69. A into B is 980. And we have to find the values of A and B. Alright. So let's do one thing. Let me write all the possibilities here for A into B equal to 980. Just keep in mind that their sum has to be 69. Right. So uh, let's, even if you start from 1, it doesn't take much time. Let's see. 1 into 980. 2 into 490. 3 will not be a factor, 4 into 245, 5 into 196, 6 will not be a factor, 7 will be a factor, it will be uh, 140, then 8 will not be a factor, 9 will not be a factor, 10 will be a factor, 10 into 98, 11, 12, 13 will not be a factor, 14 will be a factor, 14 into 70, 15 will not be a factor, 16, 17, 18, 19 will not be a factor, 20 will be a factor, that is 20 into 49. You know, just keep on adding also, this is more than 900, not possible, not possible, more than 300, more than 200, around 140, this is 98 plus 10, not more than 100, 14 plus 70 is 88, not uh, 84, not possible, 20 plus 49, this is 69. See, understand, you have to keep this thing in, in back of your mind, right? So we get our values as 20 and 49. Now, so we have A into B as 49 into 20. As we said, the larger one has to be taken as A and the smaller one has to be taken as B. Now, this means A is equal to 49, B is equal to 20. Now, what was our question? Our question was square root of 69 minus 28 root 5, which we had assumed to be root A minus root B. So our answer will be root of 49 minus root of 20. Now root of 49 is 7. 
root of 20 will be, see 20 is 4 into 5, so root of 20 will be root of 4 into 5, root of 4 is 2, so it is 2 root 5, right, so 7 minus 2 root 5, okay, so the final answer of this question is going to be 7 minus 2 root 5, all right, so this is where we have completed, I think, a good quantity of questions, almost all types of questions related to thirds. All right. Thank you so much. God bless you. Take care.